Hey guys, it's Valley Post here, and so today I decided to post a quick video because um, I haven't posted in a while, and that's because I've been making sets of videos that I'm going to post little by little to kind of ease um, my burden a little bit because I have a lot of things to do alongside school, dance, and videos and such. So um, I did want to do an update on my shoes because um, when I first got my point shoes, I realized that I said like, there were some cons about it, there were some pros, there were some things that I didn't like that much, and I'm just going to show you the state that my shoes are in. Um, I had them for about, I would say, a couple weeks, um, almost a month, probably, and it's actually been breaking a lot faster, a dying lot quicker than my last shoes my last shoes lasted two months and these ones are almost dead and I'm gonna get new ones probably next week so um, it went by real fast um, compared to my first shoe so I don't know if it's just the way the shank is or if it's actually just that I'm getting stronger and that um you know um when your feet change after a while you know things uh, about your uh, dancing change so I will like was supposing that my feet just got stronger my arch got a little bit more um archier so you know things like that really played into it so I'm going to show you how my shoes got so far and let's see okay uh, I've shellacked them three times um I've glued them in the outsides and in the uh, let's see, uh, insides, like so, they're a bit, like, dirty, this one's not as much as this one, uh, they're a little dirty, um, and basically they are a little bendier than they should be, I would say, um, they kind of bend like this, um, a little bit here too, and then on my left shoe bends all the way down. That. I'm not really putting that much pressure on it either and it just goes down like that um so you know that's just I guess what happens after a while um both shoes are kind of breaking around the um arch region and it's starting to fold over because it's bending too much you know that's a sign that you need to get new shoes when um you see like this is how your feet should look in the shoe probably like this and um, when they start folding over severely like that or something it means that your arch is pushing down too much in it and you know stuff like that um my box isn't too damaged um my shank is usually what goes first it's pretty um uh decent um my right foot also same around the same thing too um like this so um let's just get into the pros and cons of it so I have jotted down a couple of things that I liked and didn't like about the shoe and some things like that. Um, I do this uh, with every shoe if it has an issue. Um, I felt that the heels scratched a little bit too much in the back. Um, the funny thing is, is that it was my size, like it's the perfect size, but the back um, would scratch really hard over, uh, my, the back of my heel, and, uh, the back of my heel have, has bled a couple times because of this, so it really does bother me that that was such an issue, because I feel like it really did minimize my dancing for the beginning, um, since, you know, the break-in process, uh, it, everything is harder during the break-in process, and it was extremely hard uh, because of that. This It is different for everyone else's feet, so please don't take anything to heart about what I'm saying. Um, another thing is uh, that I already cut off the um, layer of, you know, um, <clears throat> the layer of the silk, sorry. Um, and now the layer over the box is coming off. Like, the part that's not supposed to come off, so to speak. You see, it's already 
coming up. This is definitely not supposed to come off. Um, and on the left one, I'm not experiencing it too much, just a little in the corners and such. But that is not good, really. It's not really that good. So that was an issue. Um, also, I had to open up the jawstrings all the way. You see, like, this is what was basically left of it. Um, because I don't know if my feet are just that big, but, you know, I did have to open it a lot which was kind of annoying for me, but, you know, they do die quicker. These are the same, this is the same kind of shank that I got last time, but I guess that I should start off with a harder shank, maybe, next time. Um, probably have to. Um, and things like that really did bother me, but overall, when these shoes get broken in, these, to me, were the most comfortable things on earth. I really did. This is my favorite shoe um, out of all of my shoes. Um, I'd have to say that my shoes keep improving and hopefully if I mention the problems to my next fitter about the uh, scratching here and the dying and things like that, maybe she'll get me into a Russian point. Um, and we'll see how that goes further on. Um, overall, these shoes were definitely my favorite shoes. Um, but I did have some problems with the sewing because I didn't like the way they were sewn very much. So I do want to take those matters into my own hands and sew them differently because uh, just for these shoes I asked them to sew it for me because I felt like these were a lot different because the seam was in a different spot and like I kind of go by the seam so I was getting kind of confused. I don't know how to say it. But I just felt more comfortable if they did it for the shoe. And I really wasn't comfortable with the way they did it. Um, like, the way the elastics were positioned, I didn't like that very much because it would dig into my ankle a little bit too much. So probably a little bit bigger elastics and a little farther apart. Um, definitely more um, sewing around these regions because it already half ripped off. I did sew it, but it ripped off again. So we'll have to start all over. The ribbons were not at an angle, which I really do like it to be, so that it doesn't fold over like this, and it has a really clean line, uh, so to speak. Um, and the line looks like real sleek and nice. That's kind of a really important part for me. Um, I know that like the shoe is to be comfortable, it is, but I do also want a clean line like every other dancer. Um, the inside was uh, very comfortable. Um, I really like to wear uh, no padding in my shoes um, because I like the way it feels. I can feel kind of the ground, but I don't like how it scratches my feet. So the inside wasn't too comfortable by itself, like all the other shoes. But, you know, um, I was hoping to find something that'd be a little bit better for me for that. But I just used my padding. Um... For it you know why not you know and these corners over here were a little tight like really tight like compared to my last shoes which were a lot cozier around the corner so I had to always put water and expand it and wear it and squish it and all these wonderful wonderful things um, and then that's how these shoes got to this um, the most comfortable shoe uh, I love dead shoes. Um, sometimes I would just sneak in a couple more weeks with dead shoes just because of the way it feels. Um, that's not right. Don't do that. First of all, don't go after me. Do not do that. Uh, it's not safe and it's you have more of a chance of losing balance because if there's no support, you can injure your foot, like feet real bad and um, just don't do it. Um, it hasn't the... Um, shank over here is not too soft over you know here where the box is but it's really soft at my arch so I really don't like that too much but that's fine because my foot is still being held up but it's still not too um, supportive anymore just a little but I feel like we can get something more supportive 
but um, overall these shoes were the best shoes I ever had and I love everything about them except a couple little things. But then again, every shoe has their little quirks and that's fine. But overall, I was extremely happy with my Grishko 2007s. Thanks for watching.